Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Made in Abyss movie number three, and this is called Dawn of the Deep Soul. And uh, this will be my reaction to this movie. Uh, in the previous two uh, weeks, I did movie number one and two. And for those, I like I said, I watched the anime, so I kind of knew about what's going to happen, even though I forgot most of the stuff. I knew the general tone of what's going to happen, what I should expect, this and that. So yeah, this one however, I have no idea, I have not watched it. And uh, this will be interesting to react to because uh, while watching uh, Made in Abyss, uh, the anime, I, I did not do YouTube at that moment and I watched it on my own. And uh, yeah, it was an experience, I have to say, the first time watching it. Uh, reacting to the movie was also an experience but like I said since I've already watched the anime I kind of knew what to expect here however in movie 3 I have no idea what I'll have to witness and you know like what more shocking stuff is going to happen so yeah this will be an interesting reaction let us see what happens so yeah let us begin so this uh, as always this is a movie reaction so only the subtitles will be given and the timer will also be provided for you to sync the original video to my reaction and watch alongside with me so yeah without further ado let us begin this is movie number three of made in abyss so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go I don't know what to expect from this. I really have no idea. Like, we got Nanachi and we are off on our journey. We got a little glimpse of Bondred, I think that was his name, and his daughter. And that's it. So, yeah. Alright. Who's this? Oh, it's Nanachi, okay. I love the noises she makes. <laughs> wow, damn. Oh yeah, Nanachi needs to climb down while Reg and Rigo can just <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, really? Ah. Leader. Oh, is this? Ah. Is, is this where the grave is supposed to be? Trains, yeah, m moving up. Yeah, so do we have the grave over here? Oh no, what? What else? What? Golf sweepers? Oh damn, wait what? He can do that? Oh <laughs> He left the bag over there, will that- I think that'll be fine Oh boy. Wait, what? Oh my god, who is this? Who is this?
Umbra. Oh my god. I think you should get out of here. What the hell? Yo, what is this guy's zombie or something? Like a weird sound coming. Oh my god. It's just surface time. What? Surface time? Oh my god. Yeah, you're giving me a weapon? Oh, well, okay. Oh wait, what? He found it? Oh damn, he knows already, wow. Yeah, yeah. Um... He's like, eh, I don't care. You guys are too le low level for me. Oh wait, he's actually trying to follow him? Okay, that's unexpected. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? Please don't put your face like that in front of it. <laughs> What? What is that? Oh damn! If you spot one of these guys among the leaves, you find them. Oh wait, the same thing happened to them. Oh my god, yo! Oh. oh oh my god oh my Ugh. Yeah, he's dead, so... Oh! Oh, okay, okay. That's why. Amaranth Deceptors. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, this is Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yo, move. We need to destroy these things, yeah? Like, what else can he do, I guess? Wow, there is a lot. <sighs> no choice. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be even more dangerous later on. Yeah, true. Yeah, need to make your choices. Uh, 
Oh wow, that's amazing. Yeah. True. Oh my god. Ah! Okay, that's nasty. Okay, oh god. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, what now? Yeah. <sighs> True. True. Someone is waiting. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. All right, this is how it begins. So Okay, so now they're like at the that's the inverted forest and then Wow So are we currently over here or something? Yeah, okay Came a long way down. The Sea of Corpses is fifth layer. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Who? <laughs> He's like, I want to. <laughs> oh, oh boy. What support? Oh, wait, these. Hmm. <sighs> oh wait that's convenient <laughs> platforming now oh god okay um yeah you're you're jinxing it now Hamashirama. What? Why is he trying to catch some fish or something? Yeah, okay. 
Oh my, what? What is, okay, that's a... How much can I... That's nasty looking. What is that? Oh god. Why are you showing us this? <laughs> oh my god. Rub the meat with... <laughs> oh my god. No. Ugh. Oh my god, this looks so disgusting. I don't care. I don't care. It looks disgusting. <laughs> Rico Sashin. I do, and I don't think. <laughs> Yo, she's just eating. <laughs> Stu. More fishing? Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Then talking about She's again talking about what's going to happen after her death. <laughs> Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, like... How? Like... All those things I understand, but how can they meet Mitty again? Like, Mitty has been vaporized. I guess, but... <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, what? Edo front. Oh, this is the lower region of the fifth layer. Damn, what the? Is that Bondred's place? Place. Is that Bondred's place? I think so. Oh. Hmm. Okay. 
Who's watching them? Oh, it's that girl. I think so. I forgot her name. The one who was with Bondred. Okay. Oh, is that her? Oh, he, she's here. Yep. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Ignored. Reg, don't. E. What's happening? Yo! Yeah. Prushka, okay, that's her name. Prushka. E. <laughs> Can you talk this to years? <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Oh! Is he here? Oh lord, he's here. Oh my god, he'll be like, oh, welcome back. How are you doing, Nanachi? Long time no see. He'll be casual like that, I'm pretty sure of it. The hell? Oh my god. Ugh. There we go. Oh boy. This guy. Yeah. Okay. White whistle. We do have a white whistle with us, so. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Life reverberating stone. Oh. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Uh. Oh god. Then we need Liza with us to use this. I... Oh my god. <sighs> like at this point I feel like they'll end up have to taking Bondred's help because he's the only one who has a white whistle with him and he's the only one who can let them go. 
So, oh my god, I don't like the, the way this is going. Oh god, stop, please. Oh, that close up. You know that zoom in? Yeah? The zoom in means he has some kind of a plan. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Oh my god, this looks like a prison cell. Type 4? Ah. Okay. Is it like a wall? Rico. Hmm. Probably not. Yeah. Oh, kind of like Rico then. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> she has not even go gone there, okay. I don't think this is safe. Your dad is making this comp very unsafe. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, that guy. Oh my god. Hmm. Yeah, put it on. <laughs> Did it change again? It's changed. It's fading. Wait, what's that? Whoa! Oh my god. Incident, yeah, so how many times you use it? Oh my god, does it? Wow, so not only you go unconscious, but you also have a limited number of time you can use it. Oh lord. Please stop. Oh my god. She's going to Bondred to ask for help. Oh. Oh, I knew it. Oh, God. <sighs> mm. 
Ein Delga. <laughs> yep, she's gone. Wait. Reg is also not. Did he also sneak out? Yeah, together. Wait, this doesn't have a door? This toilet? What the? <coughs> um, I don't think. Yeah. Hmm. No. Oh no. No, please. Oh God, this girl again. She's. There's probably some kind of secret over there. Yeah. But I'm still going to go. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I'm the main character, so I need to find out. <laughs> oh my god. Squat, okay. That's what? Oh my god, that's dark over there. I guess, but oh my god, is is she bleeding? Oh, she's hallucinating again. Oh god, is that a hallucination or is that his her real teeth? Okay, go back down. Yep, these are hallucinations. Oh my god. Wait, he, she went a little bit. That's... Oh, this is the fifth layer. I forgot. That's why. Damn, even a little... Oh my god. Yeah. Wait, so... So these were like... Because... Oh, wait. Ah! Okay, so those are not hallucination. He, she really was. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah w what about red and where are they then oh so it really is locked
Wow! Is that also... Oh no, it's something else. I thought it was, that was also like a... Oh, it's going to show them the path? Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> I still don't understand what's the deal with this guy. Hmm. Health in the regard. Oh, wait, is that how you? Oh, interesting. I'm guessing these are the sections where the curse does not activate, like the, the layer is not there. Oh my god. Uh, here we go again. I wonder where Reg is. Is she, is he also like waiting somewhere, like snooping around? Oh God. Wait, did he just take Reg? Oh, wow. I was wondering where Reg is. This guy. Oh, my God. God damn, here we go again. Oh. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my oh god. Oh, here we go again. I knew something was going to happen. Oh god. Okay. Oh my god, okay. Oh.
Oh, this thing is here. Wait, Rushka is here? Oh God. What? Why are they pointing to us? Okay. His incinerator is... No, one of his hands is here. <sighs> yeah, I don't think so. Still, I'm not so sure about like. <sighs> Bondred I still don't understand his relationship with his daughter like does he really, like, you know, cares about her like a father should? Or is this all just a ruse of... That's one thing I'm not so sure about, so... Obviously, Bondred is bad, a bad per... Oh my god, here we are. I'm, I'm guessing I'll get my answer now. Oh god. Outside? What? <sighs> what? Wait, what's happening? Someone here. Wait, someone's here. Oh wait, what? What? Wait, where's Rico? Should 
Shut the f- Oh, is it a trap or something? Oh, okay. Is this a pitfall or something? I think there's a pitfall. Whoa! I don't think Bond is going to die like that. This guy is supposed to be a white whistle, so... The other researchers will probably be dead, but... Oh, the Phantom Pain? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, Bondred is fine. I I don't think nothing. I don't think anything happened to him. Up oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, so he's the one who destroyed Meaty's eyes. In the previous movie, we got to learn that one of the eyes was gone. Well, at least his researchers are dead. Yeah, what do we do now? Oh. Oh. Oh, is it that guy? No, this is someone else. Oh my god. Uh, um, yeah, I don't think... Whoa. Whoa. Wait. Oh, that was Rico. Okay. Wait, what is that? Is that a poison or something? Decep oh! Okay. Ah! Okay. Oh God! Okay. Damn. Oh. 
Okay. Whoa, what is that? Oh, oh, he, that was his, his transformation. Is he dead? I don't think so. Oh my god, Prushka, yeah. Oh. Wait, did he bring her here just so that... Oh my god, this guy. I feel like he actually brought her so that he, she could... She, he did say that you're a lady now, you need to watch everything. Oh my, no, wait. Wait, is, oh no. Is this, oh no, never mind. I, I, my mind is going crazy now. For a moment, I thought if this is bonded or something, this guy. Oh my god, I think it is. Oh my god, this guy's got he just No wait, what's it is it Ah well, there you go. I knew that it was something like that. Oh wow, so, okay. Yeah, he cannot do anything now. Oh my god. No, there's a lot of them. Yeah. He, all he does is take out the helmet and put it in someone else and that person will be wandered. For a moment, I thought he actually played them by disguising as someone else, but it's not like that. Oh, wait. Oh, really? So that's the blessing and the... God damn. Oh.
This is crazy. Wow. Martin Crimson. Oh my god, I oh. God damn this Oh god Oh my god, stop. Alright, stop. Okay, what? <laughs> Yo, this... Mm God damn. So in the end, all that Pushka was for Bonded is just a test subject, I guess. This is what one thing that I was kind of thinking about. Does does he really love her like her own his own daughter or is it what what the hell did I even expect from him? Oh. oh, that's what he was watching. Oh, yeah, so the, the mask is the thing, the mask has the thing in it. Soul slave, okay, machine. Oh. 
Okay. No. What? Oh. Wait, what? I don't understand this part. Okay. I, I, it's kind of unclear to me about this part. I don't understand this part. I'll, I'll have to come back again. Yeah. <laughs> Whirlpool. Okay. Oh. Damn. <laughs> nice bait <laughs> or lure whatever all right yep Oh god. Okay. Ooh. How is that strong? Yeah, me oh here we go. Oh my god, he really forgot. Oh no. No wait, who, what is... This is Reg, isn't it? Ah, uh, Rico, what are you doing? Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, this thing is here. Can this thing lead us? Mania? That's that's the name? Oh my 
god. Here we go. Oh, can she feel the... Yeah, she can feel it. Oh my god, here we go. Oh god. Oh. Assessing area. Oh god. <sighs> oh my god Clark curse repellent Oh Oh, that's the cartridges. Oh my god. Oh god, he's here again. Oh god! Yeah, shut up. Yeah. I I don't I don't believe you. What? Oh. Wait, so all the white... What? Wait, is that his, her dad or something? Oh my god. Um. Oh! Not just as oh, so all the thing, all the bonders that 
come after that are not living things, yeah. But he he has lost all semblance of like he 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 is like he doesn't remember, I think. Oh here he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. Damn, he remembered something. Yeah. Oh, probably taking to Prush her to Prushka. Concept of power, not only electricity, okay. Whoa! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh, they bit off a little bit. Yeah. Is it going to run away again? Yeah. Whoa, what the? Oh. No. Nah. Oh wait, this thing. What's happening? Oh no! The incinerator! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh wow, oh my god. Oh, he's back. Oh, he fell down. Oh, God.
Oh, well, oh, he, he is here. Oh, okay. Wait, so have getting electricity made him like that? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, because of that? Oh, wow. Stop. Yo, <laughs> this. I don't, oh boy, here we go. What? Who? Oh my god, oh, not again. Oh god. Wait, he used the incinerator. He's. He, I think he's going to be unconscious in a few moments. It's the black whistle. Oh god, what is this? Oh, these are all the... Oh. It's the same place where they were thrown down, you know? Wow, he remembers everyone's names. Great. This guy is twisted beyond, twisted beyond belief. Uh. What? Oh. Oh my god. Ah! Damn. Oh. Yeah, they were all like... Whoa, what the? Ah, the, the, the transformation he had, it, it brought back a few of the memories. Like the muscle memory and everything is back. Oh, he's turning into... Yeah, he's going to go unconscious. Oh uh, boy. Oh! Wait, wait, he can do that now? He's like shooting beams out of it. Oh my god. Yeah, that's why he kind of partially transformed. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. My God, he named all. Yeah. He's transforming more and more. Uh, the cartridges are going down and. Whoa. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Uh, damn, re wreck and fight now. Like the memories brought everything back. Not everything, but partially. Okay. Oh boy. I guess for him, he could just change the uh, mask and put it on someone else and that will become bond red. So him transforming Oh god. Oh my god, is that? Oh my god, that's Prushka. Wow, that's Prushka. God damn. Yeah. I wonder why he called her his daughter. Yeah, we need to kill this guy. Well, he's twisted, so... She also heard. Did, did she hear? Yeah, she heard. Oh, God. Oh, she has been here. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm guessing this is Prushka. Friend, oh, this thing. Child of change.
Oh, I don't eat it. Mm. Oh. oh, is this how she learned how to kind of go up? Like she said, like, I myself know little tricks. Oh, the, oh my God, the curse. Yeah, and she's back. Oh, is that why? Oh, that's how she realized. Who is this guy? <sighs> oh, it's really, she got her hat. Who is this guy? Like, the guy who is with her all the time. Like, I know it's one of Bondard's men, but he seems like awfully involved in this to be just a side character. Uh, that's what he says. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, this is when sh she was, oh. Oh.
my god so that's the blessing i'm guessing i need to go back to that part i don't understand what i'll have to read that part again the whole blessing section oh my god oh Ugh. He can just dodge it, yeah. Like, it takes a long time to... Oh, that's Rico! Rico had the hand! Oh. Oh my god, here we go again. Stop. What? This this kid. Oh. Oh. Is, is he gone? Oh my god! I feel like he's going to just stand up or something. Yeah, how did they do that? Oh, I guess Reg is the one who... Okay. Yeah, so he cannot just put his helmet. This guy, he is, he is such an interesting character. You cannot call him evil, you cannot call him good. He's a weird one. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay, that's good. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, yeah, Pushka. Oh, his, oh, she's gone. No, wait, what? Ah. Oh. Why does this? Why does he always lick the? Oh, she's gone. Wait, what? It's a whistle. No, wait, is that a whistle? Yo, wait. No, that's not a whistle. No, that is a whistle. Something like this would never happen unless the person packed Oh! Yeah, like you know, in that scene, we saw her saying, like, let the adventure keep continuing. Oh my god. Wow, she got a wide whistle. I was not expecting her to get a wide whistle like this. Oh my god, it, it's... Then Oh the oh, gosh, what Wait, what the Wait, did he just... He changed the mask. Okay, so he's not dead, technically, if you think of it that like that. They're all praying. Okay. Oh my god, what? 
Oh. oh god that's the end i think oh. oh my god what the hell there are a few sessions I need to go back and read again. I, I didn't understand, especially the whole blessing section. I need to go back to that part and check it out. What that actually is, because it, it kind of went so quickly. I wasn't able to properly concentrate and kind of just get in all the information. Like one thing I kind of understood is that a blessing, blessing is something that happens when one person takes the curse for you or something like that, I guess. The same thing happened to Nanachi with Mitty, I guess. So I need to go back to that part again and read that. The songs in these shows are really good. Oh. Okay, so this movie like the thing about this show is the characters, especially the characters who are in the villain villainous position, they are they're weird in a way like like bondred for example like he's one of the most vile things vile persons we've ever witnessed but there's something within him that is unusually noble i don't know how to actually explain his character like it's an unusual mixture He's one of the worst characters, you know, like the things that he did and everything was so inhumane and so despicable. But there's that weird nobility within him that is, that throws me off. Like, especially in the end. Like, like he's one of those characters that, yeah, that, oh, Myth and Rod. I was thinking, where have I heard this voice, this song, type of song before? It's Myth and Rod. Okay. <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay, what I was talking about? Yeah, uh, Bondred. So... I don't know how to explain this, like... Like, seeing him alive by the end of it... Yeah, it's, it's really weird. Like, I myself don't know what I expected out of this encounter. Like, somewhere in my mind, I kind of knew he would not die that easily. And seeing him just being alive like that, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I kind of expected it. And then, like, you know, the whole thing of him, like, I'm pretty sure he's going to continue doing this. The, the things that he has been doing, like ruining people's lives, which is despicable. Uh, but you know what shines about him? Like, the... Like, you know, what can I say? Like, the weird way he only looks at the goal and will do anything to accomplish it. That... That in itself is what I'm calling noble within him. Like, his... I don't know. Is that the end? Yeah. Oh my god, ooh.
Uh. All right. Okay. Let us talk about this movie now. Okay. Like I said, I need to go back to the. I don't know if I'll be able to find that part again. Oh God! It'll be. Uh, it'll be a disaster to try to find that part. The whole section which he explains about uh, blessings and all. Okay, I think it's here. Why are there two of you? Two question mark. The umbra hands are all myself. Okay. Um. Okay, now Nachi, let us return together. All right. Um. Why me? Okay. Here we go. Curses are not all that one receives from the abyss. There is an effect we were unable to see because of the great strain is placed on the body. Oh, when they were experimenting, as a matter of convenience, I call this the blessing. It is due to your deep emotional connection with Mitty. A love and adoration as it were that your body received only the blessing of the abyss. You're the only successful instance of this. Ah, okay. Wait, wait, so... Love, it is love, Nanachi. Okay, so... Now, okay, what I can understand is these two things the curse and the blessing so like bondred says like not only the abyss bestows curses upon people who try to go against like you know the go upward but it also provides blessing which is usually suppressed and the people don't are not able to uh like you know and not people sorry they weren't able to notice that because of the other things that were happening when you know like when meaty transformed the blessing is the reason why the blessing and okay so okay wait a minute all right so we were under the impression that both Mitty and um um nanachi got the curse you know since they were experimenting and, and the experimental whole thing was like only one of the compartments will have 100 percent of the curse and one will not you know that's why we thought that Mitty was the one who got maximum of it and she lost her humanity while um, Nanachi got minimum amount of the curse that's why her body transformed that's what we thought turns out that was not the case so that the actual case was Mitty got the curse but Mitty's love towards um, Nanachi was actually the reason for why Nanachi got a blessing which is why she looks like this now it's so ironic that the blessing in itself looks like a curse you know like the so basically nanachi got blessed did not get cursed by the abyss like miti's love for nanachi became a blessing for her and that's why she looks like this now like she can get like you know, she can she has like these extra um what do you call them extra powers you know to like you know uh, like the thing that he does like looks at the aura and stuff i, I forgot the actual term that she uses for it but the thing that she does, you know, she can even like look at the layers and everything, all that. So that's like the blessing that she got. And that's what um, Bondred is experimenting on, the blessing. So what person a person needs is the love and the emotional connection for someone. That's how you're going to get the blessing. Now, it kind of makes sense why Bondred like you know like treated uh, prushka as like her his daughter and the reason why like you know like he got he like you know i, I was talking when the, all of this was happening you know his hand was getting transformed and everything and i was like oh he like you know he's he's getting cursed by the abyss it was a blessing actually i think like everything that i'm trying to say here like you know i might be wrong completely like, uh, let me know if I'm wrong because this is how I'm interpreting it. So what I've been thinking that he was getting cursed by the abyss while she was fighting, you know, his hand became like a thing, his leg became like a monstrous thing. And that was actually not a curse, but it was the blessing for, of Prushka because Prushka loved her dad so much. And, you know, Prushka was with him all along, you know, the, as, as the cartridges. Ah. 
Is that why he... Uh, I don't know. He, he, he treated Prushka like her da his daughter. Now here's another thing about Bondred that is extremely weird. The thing is, you now you might say like, oh, he, like, you know, he, he used Prushka, you know, like made her adore him like a dad, you know, and, uh, you know, he was just manipulating her so that he could get the blessing. But I would like to disagree here. The thing about Bondred is like one thing I was extremely like you know curious about the whole episode is how he had this weird fascination towards nanachi you know whenever we saw some kind of a like you know danger was like you know coming towards nanachi he always got concerned and he was like nanachi look out like another you know, or move from here nanachi like you know, this whole thing is going to come down we, we saw that didn't we it's the same thing with prushka as well this guy he's so twisted you know he actually did not manipulate prushka and like you know like his love for prushka was actually not fake if you think of it in that way it's her his adoration for his test subjects that's the twisted love that she he has for both nanachi and prushka it's not the love of a father and a daughter it's basically his love for you could say a test subject which is going to lead him to his goal you know it's just that it's just that he looks at, I guess you could say, Nanachi and Prushka as, like, you know, as things or people who are vital for him, who are going to lead him to the goal that he wants to go to. And that's why he loves them. If you can understand what I'm trying to say, that's why I'm saying, you know, it's not that he manipulated Prushka or his love for Prushka is fake. He does love her, but in a weird, twisted way, because... Prushka is just the means for him to go to that one goal that he wants to go to and that's why he loves Prushka because Prushka is going to lead him to that goal like that type of a thing you could say I don't know if I'm able to interpret this correctly but that's why I'm saying you know like this guy is weird this bond red guy he he's like he's like one of those like complicated characters that is just despicable but at the same time he himself has these laws rules and regulations within him his own ideals which which is kind of noble to look at but he's despicable as a human being that type of a character he is that's why i'm like well yeah this this guy's weird like i said this is all my interpretation you know like i might be completely off the mark though and uh, like yeah he he deserved death definitely because he's going to continue doing all of this to all the other children that are probably he'll go to he's going to bring up more children and keep continuing doing this so yeah that's despicable and that's he deserves death for that oh my god but at the same time his goal if you only look at the goal if you if you just if you just cast aside all your morality you know and look at him as a person walking towards his goal his uh what can i say his fascination towards his goal his the thing that he wants to do and his stubbornness or whatever you can say like the way he's doing it if you discard all your morality that is noble but if you bring back morality again he's despicable that's the type of person bondred is i think i don't know all right okay so i kind of understand the whole blessing part i understand the the cartridges part i also kind of understand so correct me if i'm wrong what they were actually doing is they were um cutting off the parts that of, of the people uh, of, of the of the test subjects that uh, you know like that got the curse and they were only keeping the parts which acted as like a curse repellent i'm guessing that's why all these cartridges were made from these uh human uh, like you know test subjects and uh, these acted these cartridges acted as curse repellents and i'm guessing since prushka like he's been using these curse repellents all along but he never got the blessing because this time i'm guessing one of the cartridges was prushka 
he got the blessing because Prushka loved him as a father. And that is the reason why he got the blessing this time. Unlike all the other times he used all the other cartridges. I'm, I'm guessing that's why Prushka was, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, special to him. Like I said, as a test subject, because he was going to show him the goal, the way. And uh, that's why he also said something like, thank you for like, kind of making Prushka complete. You know, he said at that moment when uh, Reg and Nanach came out of that that part that uh, you know that um, experimental facility he said like uh, thank you for uh, helping push her coming to completion or something like that he says which i guess like you know when pushka saw um bondra die apparently you know like you know the love for him you know pushka we saw she started crying and that's why she said that Oh, thanks for bringing Prushka to completion because, you know, he knew that Prushka really loved him. That means that the whole blessing he could actually get. And that's why without wasting any more time, he made Prushka into that cartridge and put it within his, like, you know, the backpack or thing what he was carrying. And the love for Prushka would actually manifest as a blessing to him. So unlike all the other cartridges that he used, Prushka was special because she was as according to his words a cartridge who was complete and Reg and all of them brought that completion by killing bondred for a moment i think that's what happened here i think so okay let me read that part again where prushka uh, was like you know like was in the experimental table uh, with the with the hands and everything like marked and uh, Okay, here it is. She says, I want to see the dawn. Um, let us view the dawn together. Okay, just a sec. Where is that part where he talks about... Oh God, I need to see this part again for... Oh. Where is that part? The part where he explains... Oh my God. The whole thing about the cartridges. I don't want to see that section again, getting her getting tortured. Ugh. God damn, where is it? Okay, here it is. Oh God, thank God I found it. Just a sec. Okay, so he takes her back to the facility. Um, and he says, yes, please dispose of all that's marked in crimson. So then we can see these um, diagrams where there's like a jaw, it's, it's written, like, you know, there's like a cross mark in the jaw, in the, in the uh, mandible, and the uh, upper jaw, and they're marking the leg, the arm. Okay. It's not, where is the part where he explains like, you know, the whole curse section? No, not curse, sorry, the whole cast repellent thing. Okay, I cannot find that part where he actually talks about the uh, how um, you know, doing that is going to keep only the sections which does not have the, like, you know, which are not going to get affected by the curse and how that is going to act as a curse repellent. I think he explains it like that. Another part I kind of need to read again is the whole Zoaholic thing. Um, okay, this part I, I need to read again, just a sec. Okay, um, now she says, look at, take a look, his discarded remains, all the parts of the head are still here, only the mask was taken. Okay, now Rico says, so he didn't swap heads, Zoaholic, okay, here it is, Zoaholic, the soul slave machine, it's a relic that copies your consciousness into someone else and makes more of yourself, relic that copies your consciousness into someone else okay but when you mix in or increase your consciousness the person using it ends up going insane wait when you mix in or increase your consciousness okay it's a special grade relic that the catalog started listing as lost 15 years ago white whistles are supposed to have um 
Then I remember what Prushka said. That was with the mask, okay. No. The Zoholic is about the size of a large room and shaped kind of like a butt. Okay, so the Zoholic is the thing that we saw, you know. The, the huge thing. The mask is not the Zoholic. The mask is basically the medium, you could say, where the soul resides. Where the, not soul, but the consciousness is copied to. And that's why we, you know, whenever the mask is taken out and put on to someone else, that mask being like the main source of consciousness, it, like, you know, the person who puts the mask on becomes like that, becomes bonded. And that's why he has multiple bonders. Okay, so I guess that's how it goes. Okay, uh, do you remember what Amrahan said? The person you speak of isn't currently present. The method for spanning layers is prone to difficulties. So it could mean he could transfer his consciousness even without the mask. Oh, but he'd have problems if he spans the force field too much. Wait, what? I don't understand this part. Okay, okay, read, let me read that part again. Um, the person who speak of isn't currently present. The method for spanning layers is prone to difficulties. So could that mean that he could transfer his consciousness even without the mask? But he'll have problems if he spans the force field too much. So I'm guessing within the range of the Zoa Hall. Okay, the mask is probably just a symbol of the Sovereign of Dawn, Bonder the Novel. So it's just like a symbol. And it would also serve to impress on Pushka that this is your father. Ah, okay, I, I kind of understand what she's trying to say. So basically, the mask doesn't have much importance than it just being a symbol. So the mask being on someone would mean that person is bonded. So basically, all within the range of the Zoaholic can be become like bonded. You know, like she doesn't need the mask to transfer the consciousness as long as they're within the range, I'm guessing. So the question is, why would he wear the mask then? It doesn't serve any point. It does serve a point. The point is that having the mask would actually say that, oh, this guy is bonded. You know, he's the symbol. And you know, like, the, like that guy's the main sovereign. So basically everyone is bonded. But the person who's wearing the mask currently would become like the actual bonded who everyone is going to follow. Another thing is going to serve is for Prushka, that mask is a symbol of he's my dad. So basically, all we know is like, you know, like that guy is bonded today. Uh, you know, Prushka went to his sleep and maybe he just transferred his consciousness, took the mask and put someone else uh, uh, it on someone else's head. And that person became bonded. And the next day when Prushka is going to like, you know, come back, like from uh, like, you know, wake up, the other person will become his father, her father. So basically, it's like I said, it's a symbol. The person who is the kind of that the, the symbol as that's going to denote that this is your father, Prushka, and this is Bondred. So no actual reasoning for the mask is just there as a symbol. Okay. All right. Okay, I understand this part. These parts sections are a little bit difficult to like. You know, like I had to go back one or two times to actually realize what the hell is happening. Um. Okay, now another part I need to read again. I think this is the final part that I need to go back, which is the whole section about the whistle. Okay, um, okay, this part. I was fully under the impression you had come to create the raw materials for your worth. Your worth, the life reverberating stone. If I recall, that's what white whistles are carved out of. Here you go. You mentioned the unmovable so sovereign, so I assume that she taught you a little about that. Okay, um, but I suppose she's somewhat ill-natured. The raw material for your worth is a human being. Okay, so this base was the ruins of a formal ritual site. Okay, um, you see to challenge the sixth layer and beyond from which one can never return is to surrender oneself to the netherworld. This is the place where the preparations for that was carried out, or rather, the ritual. Not just anyone makes for suitable offering, however, okay, this part is important. Without a firm resolve to sacrifice everything for the intended user, 
the life insignia won't be compatible. The timber of the instrument that is created also has the power to draw out the true purpose hidden within relics. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? Okay, now here Rico says, so you used yourself as an offering for your whistle, didn't you? Well, well, you have a keen insight. Also the experiments that led to the cartridges. You came upon those ideas while fiddling how to produce your worth. Okay, yes, yeah, so that was like the byproduct of his thinking. Okay, so I understand now, basically. Now this section, okay, so what this means, I'm guessing is to get the whistle, yeah, you need someone who's going to willingly sacrifice themselves to become the whistle, you know, like the world, or the, become the raw materials for the whistle. Another thing is um, Bondred used himself. It's so crazy. So like basically he, <laughs> he sacrificed himself for himself. That's uh, something, I guess, you know, like imagine sacrificing yourself for yourself. How does that even work? <laughs> In normal world, that doesn't work. How can you sacrifice yourself for yourself? But this is, you know, like, you know, he has the Zoholic, so he could easily do that. He could easily sacrifice himself for himself and still keep on living. That's what he did. So, okay. The, you know what the first thing kind of hit me as soon as I under, like, you know, realized that the uh, whistles are made from someone who actually sacrifices themselves for you? I thought, then what the hell? Is Liza's white whistle made out of them? The first thing, if you were watching the reaction, you probably realized me. I just said at that moment, wait, so is that whistle his her dad? This is one thing that's still bugging me and bothering me. I wouldn't actually be surprised if it turns out that Liza's whistle is actually her husband. Like maybe some kind of an unfortunate thing like Prushka happened. And her husband became the whistle. You know, like she, he's not here anymore. So, yeah. Like, it's pretty clear that the white whistle is someone who is ready to sacrifice themselves for the other person. So, yeah. You cannot just make someone the whistle. The person himself or herself would need to have like a mentality of sacrificing himself or herself for you that type of a thing otherwise it wouldn't work all right that's why i was like the first thing that i hit in my hit my head i was like wait then what who is the whistle the white whistle that um liza uh has made of is, is it his, is it her husband or something that's the first thing that hit me like I said, this, this show is twisted, so I wouldn't actually be surprised if in the future we get a revelation that the white whistle that Liza has is actually her husband. And uh, yeah, so there you go. That was this movie. Now, uh, there was multiple sections that I needed to go back to understand. I understand everything more or less now, you know, and so a lot of information we got to know. First of all, um, Bondred, like I said, like I talked about him again, and I'm again going to say he's one of the most despicable person, one of the most inhumane monsters that we've ever seen in this show. But if you actually look at him with like, you know, forgetting about morality, good, bad, everything, his going towards the goal, his love for the abyss or whatever you call it, you know, that in itself is untainted you know it's pure and noble if you think of it in that way so that's why you know like he's a weird character that's why I'm, i said and the, obviously he's going to continue doing this and i would have loved if he remained dead but unfortunately like i said like i don't i i never thought that he would die by the end of it because he i, I feel like he's too strong you know he's too strong like in the end i did for a moment think that oh he's dead but then in the end when i suddenly saw him back again i'm like oh my god so yeah he's not dead so yeah it would have been better for everyone if he remained dead if the umbra hand just disbanded or something it's not going to happen 
you know like so yeah that's something i guess he, he's probably going to continue doing this or something and um, like rico said uh, you know in, the, in this episode in this uh, movie that like you know morality all these good bad things you know if i look at it like you know if, if i try to look at it in that way i won't be able to protect uh, rico my main goal here is to protect rico for that i'm i'm like you know like i can turn a blind eye to a lot of things i will have to turn a blind eye to a lot of things so basically it's something like that in the end we got to see where like you know where nanachi said that rico made an agreement with um bondred which is basically you do whatever the hell you want to let us pass turning a blind eye and like i said this is not a shonen anime where everything ends up well by the end of it like you know justice wins blah 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 yeah here you need to make choices hard choices where you actually need to look at your goal like like you know like here they decided to look at their goal look at what's important for them you know so that you know like bondred doesn't mess with them for that they had to do this so they decided to turn a blind eye to whatever they're going to do and continue doing after this you know they're no warriors of justice or like you know hero of justice they're just three people with their own goal of going to the abyss so like you know if they like you know they if they start acting like superheroes in this moment of like oh like you know what you're doing is wrong i'm going to stop you it won't work they're all that's going to happen is that they're going to end up dead that's all that's going to happen so yeah like i said this is no shonen you know this is not <laughs> whatever you're doing is wrong i'm going to stop you however strong characters you are my friendship power and my uh, <laughs> whatever power you know like my justice power is going to defeat you that type of a thing is not going to happen so yeah you need to actually turn a blind eye they needed to turn a blind eye to bondred to keep going on their journey and moving towards their goal they're not strong enough you know they're not strong enough to do anything to ponder it so they had to come to a compromise by the end of it oh my god and uh, yeah like wow this movie was something like i said i had no expect like i had no idea what I, I was going to see what i was expecting and there you go one of the most uncomfortable sections of this movie was obviously reg being tortured that was really uncomfortable the way they showed that my god oh I've never seen seen an anime going that dark. Like you know, I I guess like you know like just I, they actually showed like you know the whole, well, not the whole I guess, but it, it was kind of brutal, and I myself was feeling very unco uncomfortable at that moment. And uh, yeah, that was one of the most uncomfortable scenes. Another really uncomfortable scene was obviously uh, realizing that Prushka is going to die and what's going to happen to her. And uh, yeah, like like I I knew like you know, when when they were marking her and everything I knew like yeah this is end this is the end He's, she's probably going to end up in become one, becoming one of those cartridges and that's what happened. And uh, the uh, a few information we got to know vital information what is the actual identity of the uh, whistles you know um and uh, like you know what is the blessing you could say well what's the blessing and uh, what's bondred's goal you could say we also got to see and um, um what happened to prushka another thing we got to know is a little backstory you could say about prushka how she came here at first they were deciding to dispose her off because she was almost dying and all that but bondred decided to keep her you know and treat her like his own daughter and uh, that which brings up another thing which is extremely interesting is bondred's goal and his motivations and his the way he looks at the world like i said he's a twisted being you know his love for prushka and nanachi he also loved nanachi was just just a uh, what can i say like a love that he has for like a test subject for a person for a tool you could say that is going to lead him to the ultimate goal he just loved you know like his like nanachi and prushka as things that are going to enable him to go to his ultimate goal that's why he loved them he cared for them he cared for their safety and he 
was like that just as things that is going to help him out in the long run which in itself is so weird in a way if you think of it in that way and yeah like you know that was like the whole complete that, that was like bondred's way of looking at the world in one word if you want to say he's i guess you could say he's just a weird work workaholic i have no other way to explain what he is he he's just so devoted to his work you know like all that he cares about is the end goal I guess you could call him a mad scientist if you think of it in that way. He's just devoted to his goal that he's going to do anything and everything to go there. And you know, Prushka was one of those things that are going to help him go to that part. Maybe Nanachi was also another thing. That's why he cared so much about Prushka. You know, because all he cared about is going to that goal and Prushka is going to help her, him go to that. He also cared about Nanachi. That's why he multiple times he told Nanachi to come work for him again, you know, because Nanachi had the blessing, which was one of the end goals he wanted. One of blessings, another one of those things that he wanted for himself to see what it actually is. So that again is well, another one of his goal and Nanachi is one of the means of going to that goal. So that's why he loved Nanachi as well. So yeah, that's Bondred. And as far as I was able to understand what type of a person he is, and uh, uh what else like the last section was extremely hauntingly weird where he ended up like you know falling down like you know de defeated and uh, you know like when nanachi comes and when nanachi says something like uh, i've draw long dreamed of the day we'd kill each other in battle and yet and this is one of the most weird unusual hauntingly twisted type of moments where Bondred brings his hand and you cannot touch his Nanachi and says I'm glad it did not turn out that way truly <clears throat> Nanachi come now raise your head and uh, may may your journey overflow with curses and blessings oh god yeah like, I really thought that he died at this moment. I was like, okay, so he's actually going to die. I was not expecting him to die. But then later on, we get to see that nah, he's not dead. I, like, you know, I guess it's kind of difficult to kill him off because, you know, because he has the Zohar Liga. I think that's what he's called it. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, another thing that happened here that we got to see is the reg's transformation when he got that huge dose of electricity something happened he had this weird face and everything he went crazy and started rampaging around destroying everything and you know like it took a while for him to come back he used the incinerator and the whole base was blown off and after he came back we realized that he actually got back a few of his memories you could say muscle memory how to fight he was able to understand and that's why he was able to fight bondred like toe to toe because he got that back partially and you know like his fighting prowess or whatever came back a little bit and otherwise it would have been difficult to at least even fight bondred if uh, you know like if reg did not go through that transformation so yeah okay and uh, obviously in the end the way they defeated um bondred was also very interesting you know like um reg obviously was fighting him but in the ending blow you could say like the the incinerator that reg used he easily bonded easily dodged because it takes time for the incinerator to go but i guess they timed it so so perfectly is like so basically reg sh shot the incinerator uh, Bondred dodged it and I'm guessing Rico was ready with his her incinerator as well so at the time when Bondred dodged it she unleashed her incinerator so basically the first incinerator was just a bait for him to dodge and while she, he was dodging and his whole uh, focus is on uh, Reg Rico would unleash her incinerator using Reg's one of the hands and you know like blow him out 
And that's how they defeated him. This would have been impossible if Reg had his hat, uh, hand attached to him. They wouldn't be able to defeat uh, Bonbred. So it's ironic how Bonbred himself cut off Reg's hands and how that was the reason why he got defeated. So, yeah. And in the end, like we see, uh, you know, like um, Bonbred is there. And uh, yeah, just waiting. Now, um, another important thing that happened here is. Uh, you know, the pure wish for Prushka, where Prushka thought that uh, Lakan was talking kind of in, in, inside the thing, was saying that, Dad, please let, you know, like Re uh, Reg, Rico, Nanachi go on their journey. You know, let them, like, you know, like, you know, let us go all go in a big adventure. And which was like, you know, like, which was the thing, the emotion, you know, the love for them, their, like, you know, her own um you could say wish made her into a white whistle and that's why you know like the white whistle came out and that is um, rico's white whistle now and so basically that's prushka oh my god and uh Yeah, in the end, like I said, Bonded was just waiting, looking at them to go inside more deeper into the abyss. And so we're going to the sixth layer after this, which I'm going, to, I'm guessing is going to continue in the sequel that we're going to have within a few more weeks from June. But yeah, obviously I'm going to react to that. Damn, this reacting to this show is actually stressful, you know. You don't know what you're, you're going to get hit with like this episode oh my god the whole torture like i said those two sections were extremely uncomfortable for me the whole torturing section um not torturing i would guess say but it, it was like actually experimenting on rico and Re not rico sorry reg and prushka so yeah and that is it guys i'm going to end this here I'm, I'm i'm kind of checking if there's anything else that i missed um any important section sections that i missed to talk about or something that i wanted to say no i think that's it so yeah there you go that was bond red and um, like i said again my final verdict is that yeah he's twisted he's despicable he's vile he's, he's he's one of the most evil persons you could see but i guess if you look at it in completely his own perspective and if you actually not look at the morality section of this whole situation his goal his pure goal of just like you know like experimentation or whatever he does it's noble but that doesn't mean that what he does is okay you know so yeah that's that's just him and his own thoughts i think like i'm, I'm pretty sure he genuinely thinks whatever he's doing is is all because he wants to like you know like it's all all necessary sacrifices that's what he thinks of i'm guessing you know and whatever he does he does I guess giving his full attention or whatever like you know like all the all the things that are going to lead him to his goal he adores them he loves them as a father but that's just because it's going to help him go to his goal and yeah like he's he's like you know, he's basically a mad scientist i guess that's the best way to actually explain who he is he's a mad scientist and one of the bad ones one of the bad mad scientists who just do anything and everything for doing like you know like for going really reaching the particular goal like he's not one of those <laughs> he's not like okabe rintaro you know from science get mad to scientist no not that mad scientist he's he's crazy he's 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 one of those scary mad scientists who's just yeah boy and that's that's this episode uh that's this movie wow that was something so yeah that is it guys 
thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed like i said i'm going to start uh made in abyss i think season three or is it season two i'm not sure how they're going to like i, I technically i guess this movie is supposed to be season two you know it's a sequel so i'm guessing that the next one is called season three or is it season two maybe it's season two because you know this is a movie a sequel movie so a canon movie but anyways the sequel that we're going to get in a few weeks and from june obviously i'm going to react to that so yeah if you guys are interested in checking out my reactions be sure to subscribe and uh, comment down below anything you want to say and your opinion about this movie whatever i said what do you think about these like you know this whole movie the whole things and as a, as a like a character what what do you say bondred is i'll have to say that as a character he's very interesting purely if you just look at him as a character standpoint as a villain standpoint he's one of those very interesting characters very interesting villains who who's not just i have a goal i'm going to go towards this goal and do bad things not like that he he has this weird type of a personality which makes him really interesting as a villain so he's one of those interesting and one of the what can i say like top villains you could say that i've ever met who has like a like a weird reasoning behind whatever he's doing that type of a villain you could say so yeah as a character as a villain standpoint let me know what you thought about um uh bondred and whatever i said about bondred like i said like you know i, I just explained how i looked at him you know you know like his nobility his vileness his like you know despicable nature he's like an evil monster but a noble evil monster that type of a thing like i said let me know your opinions on him because this is how i saw him in this like you know in this movie and uh yeah and yeah that's it so thanks for watching guys and i will see you guys uh in the next video um from when made in abyss will start the next season will start see you guys again and until then goodbye and have a nice day